Right. You think you're teeth? Yeah. Take one. <laughs> I'm the finance director of Everybody Ready. Our mission is to help families that have children under the age of eight years old. And I'm the chief pilot of our aircraft management company. I'm Alex Bernier. <laughs> Just, <laughs> we can cut all this, right? <laughs> I own Realize Displays. We're a interactive uh, and digital signage company. I'm an ER physician and we own a wellness center in IV hydration clinic. We're an engineering firm. We have two test laboratories, one in Connecticut and one in South Carolina. I'm the president and co-founder of Products and Light Photography. We work with businesses to help them have their listings stand out with better photos. I'm the director of marketing for Sigma Alpha Epsilon Fraternity. We operate on 230 college campuses. I'm chief operations officer at Senior Check Cashing. We have about 27 locations. I have my own company, CH Project Support. I'm a health informatics analyst at Oncology Consultants. We are a growing practice of 16 doctors and spread across 10 different locations. I'm the information system analyst for AmeriCorps in Minnesota. I'm one of the co-founders of Simple DCP, which is a digital cinema mastering house uh, based out of Culver City, California. And I'm a NAC user. I'm a NAC user. And I'm a NAC user. And I am a NAC user. And I'm a NAC user. And I'm a NAC user. And I'm a NAC user. I'm a NAC user. I'm a NAC user. Before NAC, before NAC, we had no processes. There would just be miscommunication. Before we used NAC, there was no uh, way to standardize the data that was being collected. Most people find that they got lots of disconnect data. Every person had their own way of doing things. We were using um, Excel. Nobody's information was connected. Lots of companies that have this master spreadsheet. Things like uh, Airtable. There were errors, um, a lack of data veracity. Master, master spreadsheets. Hundreds of spreadsheets to track everything. Master version 2. Point I. Google Sheets. And you transcribed this number to the wrong place in the wrong spreadsheet. It's Google Sheets, um, kind of third-party app solutions that weren't really fitting their needs. Um, which didn't work. And what we needed was a uh, kind of a custom digital asset management solution that would allow us to track unique information about the kinds of uh, work that we produce. There was no real electronic medical record tailored to our kind of business. We really just kind of was looking for a, a process that could help us better manage a scholarship program. I came up with a plan to build this software. High scale app development, you know, that costs a lot of money and you need a lot of resources. We went through a number of different developers, spent a lot of money trying to get this thing built. And kind of hacked it with a programmer I had on staff at the time. Everybody had a different approach, but nothing was quite right. So. That's when we found NAC. Yes, yeah, so certainly NAC as a platform. I looked at lots of different applications, and NAC to me made the most sense in terms of speed of deployment, ease of use, from a builder's perspective and also from the end user's perspective. Once we were exposed to NAC, we were able to standardize our data collection. Not only are we able to manage the scholarship program, now we have launched it into a, a full-blown scholarship management system. Families are able to log on, have their own personal account, and be able to um, complete an online application. I can produce business results without writing any code at all, without having to hire programmers, and I can just implement it directly in NAC. We've been able to save, it's going to sound ridiculous to say, but over $160,000 from just payroll alone. Because just making those little changes, saving half an hour for one employee every day, you're going to save a lot of money. Six people over 50 man hours to complete billing. After NAC, it takes us uh, four man hours between two people. We're doing in that five steps what took about 20 steps. And the feedback's been really great, they love it. You know, it's, it's made the process so much easier. And once we have all the data tracked and input in NAC, we can slice and dice it, analyze it, chart it, graph it, export it. Now all that information is being relayed to us in the central office. We're able to manage it, we're able to understand it better, we're able to see trends, we're able to react. It allows us to keep our customers directly on top of where their projects are. Being able to access and maintain information on the road using mobile devices or their tablets. A, a, a full project review right from their phone, all because of NAC, it's fantastic. Once we started doing that, we realized there's so much more that we could do with NAC. It very quickly you know, evolved into a custom um, digital asset management solution. And eventually over time, it kind of became the central source of truth 
for our entire order management software. As we have scaled our operation, uh, we have also been able to scale the tool set. We try to implement NAC into everything. It's our own complete customization that we've been able to do from patient intake, consent forms, from our nurses documenting, uh, being able to run reports on our data specific to our business. Everything is housed in one location. That in and of itself is an incredible advancement. All with a cloud-based, robustly secure application built with NAC. Our competition are some of the biggest um, technical operations in the world. Today, NAC has us competing with some of the largest companies in our sector. NAC has really helped us to streamline most of our processes. We wouldn't be the same without it. We wouldn't get along as well, personally, without it. Made us look good. It was easier. It's been life-saving.